He's sitting on bamboo. Doesn't that hurt? Hello and welcome back to Monotonous Minecraft episode 93. Today, me and my many, many, many wild cats, feral cats even, will be turning this empty park into a zoo for villagers. No, not like a village. We're, don't, no, we're not putting you in cages. Don't worry. Although... No, 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 no. We'll use animals. <laughs> um, it's kind of an odd, small shape. This glowstone marks the center of the area. Um, this chest is full of stuff I plan on using. And... Yeah, we're, uh, why are they all staring at me? Guys, you guys are creepier than real cats. <laughs> so my overall plan is I'm going to have four enclosures in each one of these quadrants. Because I like apparently just divide everything in this world into fours. In the center here is going to be some sort of circle of something. I don't know what will be in the middle. We'll have paths going out all cardinal directions. And, um, yeah, pens in here. Four different animals. Right now, what I'm thinking is over here will be pandas. Down here will be llamas. Over here will be polar bears. And over here will be sea turtles. Because not only does that give us a nice collection of exotic animals, um, it also gives us a chance to have four different biomes in this little itty bitty space. Um, I'm hoping it all works out. I'm also hoping as I'm terraforming this and building this that I don't hit a villager and get killed by an iron golem. Or hit an iron golem and get killed by an iron golem. Yeah. They like to get in the way. Urgh. Shake my fist at you if I didn't punch you in the face while doing it. Alright, so let me build out the, uh, the central circle and the start of the pathways at least. And uh, let's see uh, what it looks like and maybe jump into the next section. All right, so we got the paths in place, and uh, I surrounded the whole zoo area with uh, three high, tall. Uh, this is acacia and oak leaf bushes. Um, you can see over here in the corner is some nice green, and the rest of it's that kind of terrible drab olive. Blah. I went ahead and put a fountain in the middle. I didn't really know what else to do. I was thinking of a statue, but then I kind of like the water feature. That was a big jump. <laughs> random carrots and it's just you know a nice little fountain easy to do after the aquatic update water is a lot more fun to play with and so now I'm trying to decide about cages because I could make them perfectly rectangular from like you know here back to there but then what do I do with all this extra space Maybe some park benches, some signs. Let's try, yeah, let's go with that. So we're going to build the cages next. Um, just to put those in place. And then I will terraform each section and get the animals in. Um, and then we'll do some finalized stuff. We should be pretty much done. Maybe some flowers. Oh, I want to do some entryways. Oh, I got to think about the entryways. I was thinking two big ones here, but maybe I could do the same thing all four. Kind of depends what I come up with. What do you think, guy? Yeah? I don't know. That sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, villagers. Oh, so, where am I wandering to? Let me, uh, <laughs> let me put some cages in. See where we get to from there. So I added some nice little park benches to sit on and did a little bit of uh, bone mealing. Also put some worn patches in. I wish I could do this, but you can't. You put a sign there, it automatically turns it back to a dirt block. Stupid game. So now it's time to terraform these four sections. And then I realized the tough part about this is going to get the animals in. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I think for sea turtles what I might do is actually just grab some eggs and hatch some in there. That way this is their home beach anyway. For llamas I can just lead in with little leads. Polar bears? How does one move a polar bear around? I'm assuming a lead will work, but I don't know. 
What was the last animal I said? <laughs> Pandas. Okay, Panda I can do. I got some bamboo. <clears throat> so I'll probably just kind of bust open these gates a little bit more. Leave the animals in there. And try to get all these other ones out. The cat's out of the zoo. Run, Ryan. Run away. Run away. Okay, let me get these enclosures set up with some uh, more appropriate settings. Moving mobs in this world is terrible. Okay, so I got the llamas over there. Ended up having to kill three iron golems and about, I don't know, a dozen cats. Because I could not get the llamas in very easily. And I built up stairs to get the uh, rails like this into it. And then, of course, the golems and the cats immediately climbed up and went into the thing. And, ugh, such a pain. So now I'm in the process. I built this to get pandas in. And I've got one panda trapped in a minecart over there. And the problem is, first of all, I'm going to run out of minecarts. The other problem is that when I try to break the minecart to get it closer, um, I just hit the panda. And the panda's not super happy about that. Oh, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to break this, and this, and this. Remind me to fix this and get some more rails. So now I've got an angry panda stuck in a minecart that follows me around so I can't even possibly break it. Which is why I'm trying to use the cactus to break it. So let me get some more rails. Let me finish this rail line to get that thing way over there. And hopefully the cactus trick works. I fed him some bamboo so he wouldn't be mad at me. He probably forgot it already anyway, but just in case. Come on, Bubba. <laughs> Put a break here, just in case. Don't need them going back. Another 200 blocks. When that inevitably happens, <laughs> okay. See, look at that cow. People can't stop or people. Animals can't stop with the Come on. Come on. Okay, still going. Let's go. You know what I found out trying to do this? That the uh furnace minecarts don't exist in bedrock. I had no idea. I was like, that's a good trick. I'm going to do that. Nope. Built, made a furnace for no reason. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Well, it's halfway there. Come on. Go down there. There we go. Okay, hardly perfect, but it worked. <laughs> Alright, let me go find another one and do all this over again. Thought the poor sucker was gonna die. Here, get some nummies. <sighs> okay. Well, now, all I have to do is get two polar bears in that one, and, um. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Let's see. Can I make this jump? Don't think so. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I'm guessing I'll just do the same thing as I did with the pandas. Uh, for the sea turtles, I did put eggs in here. They won't hatch unless at night, unless it's nighttime though, and um, I pretty much sleep during the night. So at some point I'll have to do that. Let's double check in here, make sure our llamas are still in here and haven't phased out. You know, it just occurred to me. Sometimes animals like to disappear because the rendering in this game is a little iffy. Also, I can't see the back of these cages. Okay, they're still in there. Hey, llamas! No, there's a cage up on the wall. Doesn't that look like a natural enclosure? <laughs> I feel like these uh, cages look very much like they do at zoos. <laughs> Ineffective. And I hope that one can get off the bamboo it looks like he's on. He's sitting on bamboo. Doesn't that hurt? Whoops. I guess I can grab some stuff. <laughs> ah, crit. How did I do this to myself? Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> okay, he's down. All right, off to the polar bears. Luckily, polar bears can be dragged around on leads a little bit better than pandas, so I was able to drag them over here, block them in so I could get them in without anything else. Oh. Without any other animals coming in and they're disrupting me. Okay. Still wasn't super easy, but they're there. Oh, look. And they're in their water. <laughs> I think that one's my favorite so far. It'll probably end up being my favorite because I can't imagine the turtles would be that cool. They just kind of sit around. But I have to rebuild all the stuff I took out. Where'd they go? Like, I already lost them. Okay, there they are. Um, so let me put the benches back in. I did uh, spend a little bit of time in the dark here uh, trying to get those turtle legs uh, aged. We'll see how it goes. Alright, cool. So, the last thing I need to do, besides get those things uh, hatched, is some signs. So, the first step to building a sign is to build an archway. So, I got some cool stuff. Blink. Blink. Um, I, was gonna, I was thinking about using wall sections, but then I realized that I want some beefiness. Did I do two? Did I do three? I did two. I want three. <laughs> um, you can see I've got some banners and some white dye. Because that is what I'm going to use. Let's see. And then for this section... I was hoping that things won't spawn on and I didn't want to put a cover in it. So that's good. So let's build some letters. I can do that from here, right? Yeah, I can do that from here. So if I do... Hold on. I didn't test this at first because why would I? You know... Okay, so that's right. And then, do Dang it. Why can't I just pick it up? I just want to pick it up. Uh, 
Oh, you know what I didn't grab? I didn't grab any black to go around the outsides. Oops. Doop, boop, boop, boop. That doesn't look right. That's because that's a border. Ugh. Okay, so I don't do these often. <laughs> there we go. Stop doing that. All right, let me build the rest of the the, the rest of this O, <laughs> and then um, go get some black and um, build them properly. I can't believe I forgot that part. Wait, yes I can. I forget that stuff all the time. Because there's just too much like that. Alright, uh, hey buddy. So let me go get some black and finish up those letters and we'll see what we got. Oh, and then I'm going to use the uh, loom to copy them. Because that process is really slow. Alright, who wants to guess whether or not I remember how to do this? What can I do with this? No, this is wrong, right? How do you copy these things? It's not there. Is it just a crafting table? Aha! Why am I so useless at remembering those things? <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Ah. Don't want to accidentally create too many. We all know that I'm a little loose, a little tight on the uh, old. Uh, did I make enough banners? Probably. <laughs> don't have a lot of black dyes that I'm getting at. Four, eight, yeah, two to one. Okay. Alright then, yeah, it didn't take me that long to, uh, you know, do it wrong and then do it right. <laughs> so, originally I was going to just do the, the banners up there, but then I thought, you would look cooler, smaller letters. Which is why I've got item frames. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. I tested this out, so I know this works. Doesn't look the best necessarily. But it works. 200. I mean zoo. Oh, I should have done this for my 200th episode. That way I could have... Maybe for 200th episode I'll just change the Z's into 2's. Will I get to 200? I mean, I'm coming up on 100. Which means I'm about halfway through my estimated 4 years of flattening this world. Huh. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll make it to 200. Seems kind of weird for a weekly series. What do you think? Carrot? That's what you think? Give that guy a carrot. Uh, these guys are all jerks. Alright. Uh, <laughs> let me build this uh, gates on the other four entrances. Look! Our turtle's hatched! Woohoo! Look how cute little they are. Sunbathing on the lights. Okay, let me finish these signs. Introducing the city's new zoo. Enjoy the ribbon cutting. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Now let's look at all the animals. Are there any animals in here? Oh, there's one. Hi, polar bear. Hi, other polar bear. I like how the uh, villagers actually look at the animals. <laughs> that is some realism I did not anticipate. They're still sunbathing. The iron golems like looking at the animals. The other animals like looking at the animals. Got the two llamas. Now the only problem is I think the polar bears. Oh no, the polar bears. These are not polars. 
The pandas might be kind of stuck. I might have put too much bamboo <laughs> in there. In which case, I need to take a little bit out. But that's okay. I keep forgetting I can't see things from this side. Got the entryways and signs on all sides. I think that looks pretty good. I like the, uh, I'm glad I came up with the idea for the, uh, the small letters. Look, you can clearly see a panda butt. It looks like it's smiling at me. <laughs> we got a nice fountain. Can you waterlog? You can't waterlog buttons. I'm like, oh, if you could waterlog buttons, that'd be cool to put a couple in there like coins. Oh, well. So, we did a pretty good job of the zoo. I was not sure about uh, even doing it, but <laughs> it's one of those things. That's a terrible idea. Oh, never mind. I know how to do it. And then I did it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to make your own, I'd love to see pictures of it somewhere. You can tweet them to me comment i'll watch some videos i don't know do people like the zoos i mean it's terrible animal cruelty but it feels like you know it's a video game so it's okay my cat is drinking out of a cup over here would you it's not my cups so i don't care that much but still all right <laughs> if you made it this far thanks very much for watching uh, excuse me, I'm trying to leave here. Can't remember how to walk. There we go. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch y'all later.